Julia and Steve, and this is a new series of videos I'm starting called Redstone for Dummies. So, in this series, I will be showing you guys some kind of basic redstone contraptions that are very useful. And, well, I'm going to teach you how to build them, how they work, so people that are new to Minecraft and people who are not, you know, who have never touched redstone can have these useful contraptions in their world and these contraptions are really useful like they really do help a lot and yeah they're not like something useless like a pooping butt so yeah let's get right on to it this video I'm gonna be showing you guys a combination lock and you can use this in SMP servers to um, you know lock your doors with a combo that only your friends and you can enter because this is very hard to like get the right combo if you don't know it. it well sure you can do it but it's gonna take a really long time I'm pretty sure no one has the patience to do that so well let's get into how to make well how this works okay so there's a bunch of levers here and only some of them when you pull some of them the door will open so I know what they are so I just show you there's one this one this one see the door open but if you pull one less lever door will close or see now it's open again or if you pull one more or two more or whatever the door will close so you have to only pull down these three or four or whatever you want to make it levers and the door will open only if you pull those right levers so now I'll explain how this works and you can see the wiring here it's, it's very spread out because I made it this way so you guys can easily see what's going on there's a more compact version over there I'll show you later on so um, this row of levers here powered this row of blocks and these blocks well these levers powered these redstone so when you pull this lever which is the right lever to pull sends an output signal here and here and then so does the rest of them well so if you pull so let's say if you pull this one and this one which are the right ones you get output signals like that so now this lever sends an output signal here into an AND gate an AND gate is a logic gate that combines two signals into one but then you need an inverter to invert it. Well, no you don't actually. Actually, I'm not sure. But, let me just turn it to daytime here. So, this this one is the right lever to pull. And this one is also the right lever to pull. So, both of these will send signals here to this AND gate, which combines them. So, this one will power this torch. And it's going to turn it off. But that's not going to do anything yet unless this one also powers this torch and then the both of the torches will turn off and this will also turn off so I'll just build an end gate here real quick so you guys can see so you want to build three blocks in a row torch torch redstone in the middle and this will be your output this is the output signal right here you can connect it to whatever you want you can put some I don't know put some TNT in here so um and then you can have you have two inputs now the output will only well let me just make a wire over here so you guys can see the output okay the output will only turn off if both of these levers are on so if one of these is off it will remain on okay so if one of these turn off it will remain on but then if you pull both of them it turns off so this is what I use con to combine those two signals so that only if you pull both of them will this turn on and then also since there's three levers you have to pull I made this AND gates output connect to another AND gate which can which the input is this lever right here so this lever powers this torch 
this AND gate output powers this torch, and then this AND gate will have the final output, which will eventually lead over here to power the door. And this is an inverter right here to invert the signal. So like, say, normally, we have a lever. It's going to be on. The output is going to be on. But if you want it to be off, you can simply put a block here and a torch here. And it's going to turn off that torch and the output will be off when the input's actually on. So when you turn this off, that will actually turn on. So this is very useful for many contraptions. So now that you have the three the three levers, when you pull them, the door opens. But then we also need it so that when you pull any of these levers, it stops the door from opening. So how we do that is we connect all of these levers into a single redstone output. So see, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all lead to a single output down here on the ground. And that output goes up here and goes all the way here. And it disrupts this. This is the output from the other three um, levers. So if you, like, see, if the tor if if this is on, that means the door will be closed. So, like, let's see. Wait, why is this on? All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I I I derped up and. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so as long as this output is on, the doors will always be closed. So if you turn on any of these, the output will stay on because it powers this thing here. So any of these will turn the out will keep the output on. But if you but since that torch is connected to that AND gate over there, if you turn on the right levers, The output will turn off, and the doors will be open, and you are free to your diamonds, cake, and precious stuff. But then if you turn one of these on, it will turn the output on, and then it's just going to keep the doors closed. So, um, yeah. Well, now that you guys get how it works... You guys can basically build it however you want, and you can have many different designs for this. Okay, so over here, I made a more compact version of this that's covered in glass. So you guys can see that it doesn't need to be that large. It can be very small. This isn't even the best design. Like I'm sure that the redstone legends out there, like Seth Bling, or like, I don't know, CMB Minecraft, can make much better designs than this, but I'm not even Redstone Pro myself. I'm just pretty much a noob that kind of knows some logic gates. But here, this is a more compact version that has 10 digits, and you, you can customize this however you want. You can add like 100 digits if you want, though it'll take a long time running back and forth. But And I added glowstone lamps here, so you can see which ones you pulled, and I added like numbers up here. Just for, just so, even, just so, like, you can see what number this is. Even though that's not really useful. But so, um, works the same way, but this time I made it so that you can pull, you have to pull four levers. Now, of course, the, the guy that's trying to come in that you don't want to come in doesn't know that, so he might pull five levers and he's gonna fail. So you pull these, and I believe. Um, these. But if he looks at your wiring, he can easily figure out wh which ones to pu pull. So as you can see, th this thing turned on. If light is on, door is open. And leads to a piston door right here. And you can go into your secret room with all your good stuff. So, um, this wraps up this video of Redstone for Dummies. Oh, hello. Hi there. Who are you? Are you here for my diamonds? You better not be.
Oh, well, you're gonna have to go through the combination lock first. Now, guys, as you can see, the combination lock is very effective in stopping douchebag robbers like this guy. And you can put them to justice with your diamond sword. Die! <laughs> well, this wraps up this video of Redstone with Dummies. And stay tuned for the next episode where I will be showing you some other cool Redstone stuff. Oh, do you? Cool. Well, would you like to say goodbye to the viewers, David? Or Kato? Alright, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe! Alright, well, thanks, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!